Hey everyone, I would like to take a little bit of time to talk about my hopes for PvP in Ashes of Creation. Now, PvP is something I'm, I'm just, I love it. There's nothing like coming home after a long day at work or a stressful day and just taking your mace across another person's face. Obviously, I mean that in game, not in real life, because that's obviously a punishable offense. Don't do that. Now, with that being said, PvP is awesome. I love it. I, whether it's, there are so many different types of PvP. You know, there's the arena setting where you've got a two versus two comp, or a three versus three comp, or a five v five comp. You've got the types of PvP where you're in a battleground situation where it could be 10 versus 10. You could be doing capturing resources, having having to hold objectives. So aside from the different types of PvP that, that someone could get into and enjoy, there are some things that over the years that I have recognized, at least for me, as being a problem with PvP. I am big on community. In my last video I talked about how important community is to me and one of the paramount things that is being discussed in Ashes is community. Now I feel like one of the biggest problems in MMOs is is that 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 element of camaraderie and community isn't in as abundance as it once was. So what are some ways that we can we can we can look to try and hope to have more of that? Well, I've got some ideas. There was a particular MMO I played once and I remember going into these battleground scenarios and I remember at the end how you could you could basically give someone props and i get that there are a lot of games that have that it's like hey you did great vote this person up well the thing about that there's something about that that i thought would be very interesting in something like ashes so what if in ashes maybe you got this caravan going and you're transporting your goods and some rogue comes up and wants to destroy everything. Maybe you're there trying to protect your goods. You get into an altercation. PVP is in session. And in that scenario, it, unlike maybe a battleground situation, the idea of being able to, after the encounter is over, I would like to, to you know, make note of what this person did, how they helped protect the caravan you know maybe something they did good maybe you can put a check mark in you played good support maybe you can put a check mark in you did a great job healing maybe you can put a check mark in you did a really good you know pre you know with support range or, or melee dps or you know locking down the healer or do the idea of being able to promote someone's positive attributes instead of where you see so many people just being toxic not voting them up because if it doesn't help me why bother right well maybe there's a possibility of a system and again this is a long stretch this may never happen but my idea is if we want to bring about the sense of community reinvigorate the genre what if in that sort of scenario or in the pvp scenario in general we can we can encourage and maybe even have some cool thing to offer the player where if you are pointing out the thing someone is doing that is good we want to reward you for that somehow we want to we want to show you that hey that's important we like that you do that you know in some games you get you you go grind out an achievement and you get it you get this mount or you get this uh, pet or you get this title well what if in ashes we can promote community and positive you know positive relationships and communication and that interaction that is missing from the genre by finding things like that to promote people interacting and finding the positives that that we recognize in our comrades right that's just something i think that would be really cool i also think that it possibly could help to re-establish that camaraderie that's missing in so many elements pvp being one of them the most recent game i played had so many different possibilities to the different skill trees and the different different skill trees not just for the character but for like the clothing type the weapon type 
the guild types that you're associated with, all these possibilities and what happened from the beginning of launch to where we're at now in that game, you got limited down to the same problem you have in almost every other MMO. Here's the cookie cutter meta. This is the thing you gotta play to be successful. And what's one of the things that you gotta do to usually be successful? Let's stun lock the hell out of people. Let's make stun locking the thing. Well, sure, it's been the thing for years and years. With that being said, part of the problem is cookie cutter builds. I hate cookie cutter builds in PvP and in in-game content in general. I hate it when, when, when the the main thing people do is stun lock or zerg lock people. Just takes away from the theory crafting, and I love theory crafting. I haven't seen that in so long in an MMO when it comes to PvP. And it's something I miss tremendously. That is one of the hopes I have for Ashes of Creation. I hope that one of the things that Ashes can do and then stay true to is eliminating that the way people play is based on stun locking or zerging. I want to see creativity again. I want to see the individual thrive on experimenting and 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 creating their own things and learning from each other and sharing information and still not having to go about things in the way it revolves around a cookie cutter build. That's something I hope for Ashes. Being able to see 10 different people playing the same spec and doing 10 different rotations and things because there was the availability for the uniqueness for, for 10 different people to play 10 different ways and, and completely eliminate the whole prospect of this cookie cutter build mentality. And again, I know this doesn't rest entirely on the devs. I know this also rests on the individuals who play. I've, I've gone on my little rant about what my hopes are for Ashes of Creation when it comes to the PvP environment. So, what are some things that you would like to see in regards to PvP? Or maybe what are some things that you just would, you want more than anything to not exist in the game? The game is in such an early stage right now, and these are the moments where the community can have a voice and can, and can give the input when it comes to the game. But you never know. Your one idea, your one thought could spark the fuel for change. And again, isn't that what Ashes of Creation is all about? Redefining the MMO genre? I encourage you to contribute and to help be the change. Well, I get that, that not everybody's gonna feel the same way I do and maybe not as passionately about this topic. But for those that are, I would love to hear your thoughts and your comments, and let's keep it respectful. Before I go, I do want to give one shout out to Death's Proxy. He gave me an awesome shout out in his video several days ago, and I wanted to say how much I appreciate that. And please go give him give him a follow, check him out. He does a really great job with news and updates for Ashes of Creation, and a lot of the things that are going on in the community. With that being said, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and, and of course, go check out Ashes of Creation. Till next time, I'll catch you on stream.